Oh, welcome to church. No, welcome to church. Welcome home and welcome to our online Sunday service, Conquest Family. This is um, Joey Hortaleza, your pastor here at Conquest Church. You can call me Kuya Joey. I have my wife together with me. I'm a pastor at church. So welcome everyone. And I hope that you are tuning in right now. And even in Facebook Live, we are live there. Hopefully, um, you are continuously no, receiving messages from God through this ministry. That is the goal of this ministry. No? Uh, this ministry, by the way, is not another religion. This is an online ministry that kind of gives you an opportunity to, to, to get closer to the Lord Jesus Christ and grow in your relationship with Him. No? And practically, we're going to be talking about this, that, that topic today, a very, 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 very special topic. No? This is um, we are church, or what is church part two? You no, know, if you were here last week, I hope you have learned a lot. All right, so again, welcome to those who are joining us for the first time in um, other platform, you no, know, in this uh, Zoom live, and of course, in our YouTube and um, Facebook live. All right, so if here this place online, you no, know, our banner is love God and love His people. And to win the cause and disciple them. No, na talagang tulungan natin maggrow sa panampantaya sa panginoon yung mga taong uh, malalapit sa atin ng Lord. All right. So again, no, uh, welcome and I hope that this gonna be a Sunday very very special for you. No, as you 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 spend your time with the Lord. Okay. So today, no. Conquest Collection Series is what is church. Last week we we, we talked about a part one. Ano yon? No, how many of you remember that part one last week? It's all about church is not a building. Church is people. Okay, church is you and me. All right, you are the church. You are the temple. No, of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of God. No, that's why it is very very important. But you realize that your life is not just an ordinary life to live. God has given us one life and one future to make in this life. Or lahat tayo in this world are just you no know, passers by. Matadaan lang talaga tayo dito, and um, we don't know. No? We don't know how many years or how long tayo matapos sa mundo ng to. But when you make that meaningful. We protect our lives, we protect our body because it is God's temple. And of course, you maximize you know, your potential by serving other people in terms of the uh, strength that you can contribute all right, to other people's lives positively. Okay? So, secondly, church is not a religion. You know? These are uh, three things that all know. These are uh, the myth or what we call what church is not. No? Ano yung church? Ano yung 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 definition ng church? Ano yung hindi nag-define sa church na nakara natin yun, yun? Number two, church is not a religion. Church is about serving. Alright? Church is about serving our Lord Jesus Christ, our relationship with Him, our intimacy with Him, His people, loving and serving His people. So we will talk about this topic today and next week we're going to be discussing about the part three church is not an organization or not just simply an organization for you to involve in church's family all right so before we totally go into the topic no let's be in the atmosphere of prayer right now manalangin tayo together wherever you are close your eyes Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity again to listen to your word. Lord, make this topic, Lord, the change for us. That you minister to us, Lord God, to really penetrate in our soul and spirit, just and marrow. Judge, Lord, with our thoughts and hearts, Lord God, and work us. Lord, after this 45 minutes, Lord God, of listening, may we be changed. A new, a new person, understanding what church really means. Lord, we invite the Holy Presence, we invite the Holy Spirit over our preparation. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Amen and amen and amen. All right. The church is not a religion. Church is serving. How many of you you want to serve? Raise your uh, digital hands. <laughs> okay. We we. If there is something that we don't like, it's about serving. Amen. Right? Can you say amen to that? No, ayaw naman talaga natin mag... No, kung maari lang, huwag tayong mag-serve. Okay? Sino ba naman yung gusto mong mag-serve? Diba? Kaya nga tayo, kapag ka na sa magandang lugar ka, magandang restaurant, no? magandang hotel, okay, magandang ka ng sasakyan mo, lalabas ka ng sasakyan, no? Malay parking pa, may taga-park ka. Alright, kapag ka nasa uh, fine dive hotel ka, no? I-serve ka agad, no? Bibigyan ka ng appetizers, alright? Bibigyan ka ng mga, no? Uh, Bampagana kong mahe, right? No? I-serve sa'yo, no? Talagyan ka ng um, no, paper towel or napkin sa ano mo, no? Sa, sa lap mo, okay? Or Tatalian ka na sa saliig ng, ano, no? ng small apron para hindi ka parang yan. Kasi yung pag-upi yung dalit mo tapos yung in-order mo ay soup. No? Okay? So, ganun. No? Ganun sila mag-serve sa mga high-end um, hotels or restaurants no? kapag uh, service business yan. But you know what? We, we look down mostly on those people na hindi natin sila masyadong nakamisin kasi yung sa trabaho ng pahinga. Right? So, in this story, it is very, very, um, tawag na ito, paliktan, no? It's, it's extreme opposite of what God is, is telling, no? Here, in this passage. So, let's jump on in Matthew chapter 19, no? Starting in verse 16. So, the rich and the kingdom of God. So, sino ba yung mayaman at ano din yung tingin no, sa mayaman about, no, comparing to the kingdom of heaven, comparing to, to, to Jesus Christ. Okay? In verse 16, it says here, Just then, a man came, came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Right? Very, 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 very good question, right? How many of you want eternal life? No, every one of us, we want eternal life. Okay, ayun naman talaga natin eternal torment in hell, suffering, ano, unending suffering or darkness, or pain, right? Tortures, emotional tortures, physical tortures, no? Ayun natin yun eh. Yung forever suffering, eternal torment. We want it eternal life, not even the atheists want him. Hell. Right? You know, actually, he wasn't going to talk about it because they, they don't believe in it. Ano, wala na lang ganun, no? Right? Pero meron, no? So, sabi dito, there is a young guy, a rich guy, lumapit kay Jesus, and sabi niya, teacher, ano pwede kong gawin para makainhirt ng eternal life? What are the best questions to ask for you, no? To to really, kung gusto mo, no? Kung gusto mo na, it's it's like it's like uh, to give you an example of this is para appreciate natin, okay? Yung teacher mo magbabay exam, right? How many of your students here, no? Yung iba dito sa jante. Tinanong mo yung teacher mo, ma'am, anong chapter yung quiz or anong coverage ng prelim natin? De ba that is a normal thing to ask, no? Lalo na sa estudyante yung gusto talagang pumasa. Right? No, back in college, talagang tinatakaw yung teacher ko na para, para hindi rin masayang yung oras ko sa mga bagay na hindi ko dapat gawin. Hindi ko dapat aralin. For example, no, ang na-discuss ng teacher mo is 10 chapters no, in the book. Right? 10 chapters. Pero ang coverage lang ng prelim ninyo o ang quiz ninyo is chapters 1 to 5. Why would you review 6 to 10, right? Reserve your energy for other subjects. Correct? So parang ganito rin sinasabi dito na ang sabi nung, nung, nung guy na to, Lord, ano yung kailangan gawin para 
nakuha ko yung, ha- yung buhay na walang hanggan. Maybe sincerely na para hindi ko na magawa yung bagay na dapat hindi ko ginagawa o yung mga bagay na hindi ko dapat gawin at paano ko makakuha yung eternal life. Then that's why this question, this question is very, very, very good. In verse 17, Jesus said, no, why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, there is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. And ano yung mga commandments? No? For those who are in chat, okay, so, okay, you, you don't see the slides. How many of you don't see the slides? No, there are people who don't see the slides. Wait, uh, let me let me reshare. Okay, for those for the sake of those people who don't see it. So we are live, no? <clears throat> Sorry for the inconvenience, no? Okay. All right. Can those people who have said na hindi kita yung slide, can you now see it? Raise of hands or yes on the chat. Alright. Anyways, continue tayo. No? Hopefully, you, you can see it na. Okay? So in verse 17, it says there, Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter eternal life, or if you want eternal life, or if you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Anong commandments na ito? Anong sinasabi ng Lord na commandments? Okay? The, the, the commandments that God is saying here is the Ten Commandments. No, obviously, it's the Ten Commandments. Right? So, yun yung previously binigay ng Panginoon sa atin, sa Israelites actually, no, na, na i-follow, no, para hindi sila na mapahamak in their lives. Okay? So, next verse, no? In in, chap, in, in verse 21, in verse 21, it says there, Jesus answered, okay, if you want to be perfect, sorry, if you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions. No? Verse 18, I'm sorry, no? Which one he inquired, Jesus replied, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. Eh, ito yung sinabi ng Panginoon. No? Ito yung kailangan mong sundin. No? Huwag, kang, huwag kang pumatay. Okay? Huwag kang mga lunya. Huwag kang magnakaw. Huwag kang magsinungaling. Okay? honor your father and your mother. If you, if you see this this list, no, na nakita niyo ba yung list na to? How many of you no can agree there na hindi tayo perfect na lahat dito. <laughs> right? No? You should not murder. Sabi ng Lord kapag ka, galit ka sa isang tao, minurder mo na siya. Right? May, many times in my life, I have, I've been a murderer. I didn't tell anyone, no, lap, wala naman akong pinatay, but but because of the anger that I have or I had with those people, I'm, I was continually repenting and repenting over and over again. No? You shall not commit adultery. No? You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. So, ito, nakapagsinungaling ka na. No? Ten times in your life. <laughs> or more than that, no? stealing no sino dito nag no nakanakaw ko na rin no alala ko nang bata ako ay 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 stole no coins sa bulsa ng magulang ko honor your father and mother sino dito one in one senior life na bastos mo yung magulang mo like ako din no see this guy this guy my goodness ang bait nito this guy is so bait. How many of you nakikita mo na grabe ang bait naman na ito? Hindi nag-murder, hindi nag-adultery, hindi nag-knockout, hindi nag-false testimony. No? Mahal niya yung kakapwa niya. Kaya mo sa verse 20, all this I have kept, the young man said. 
what do I still lack? And you know what? Upon reading this this passage, no, sinabi ng Lord yung kailangan yung kailangan yung um, sundin. But apart in verse 20, ang tanong ng lalaki, no, I all this I have kept done done. Nagagawa ko po ito. What do I still lack? Interesting that after no after niya makonsider na, na lahat nagagawa niya, lahat ng usang puputos ng Panginoon nagagawa niya. In verse 20, interesting din sabi niya, what do I still lack? Ano yung kulang ko? Right? Interesting. May alam niya. Alam niya sa sarili niya, may kulang. How many of you in your life na consider mo na may kulang. Na consider mo na hanapin na anong kulang ko pa noon or in your self-realization alone in the garden, in the backyard, or maybe at night may kulang sa akin. Amen? Let's go to the next verse. In verse 21, Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Wow. What a challenge, no? Si, si Lord kasi, no? Jesus Christ is, is very, very, um, talagang, gusto niya talaga challenge talaga tayo. If you could, no, pag nabinasa niyo yung ating New Testament, especially the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John sa gospel books. Poor challenges. Chine-challenge talaga niya yung tao. In verse 22, it says that may nakakalungkot, no? When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Great wealth in the sense that this is the book of Matthew, no? the writer saying that this guy has a great wealth. Many of us consider this just money. But let's first talk about material things or money. Okay? So, in, in, in verse 31, Jesus is challenging this guy. Sabi niya, benta mo lahat ng possession, ibigay mo sa may hirap. And you will have treasures in heaven. Treasures in heaven. Sino ito gusto mong magkaroon ka ng treasure sa heaven? Hindi lang yun sa mundong to. Right? Give. Give. Mamigay ka. Right? Kailangan mo pera. Hindi naman. No? Pag may nakita kang ulubi, bigyan mo siguro ng pagkat. Bigyan mo ng siguro ng damit. Kung merong nasakon, nag, nagkaroon sa, nasa kanila, nasunukan, bigyan mo ng ng kaunti, no? O may ulubi, nangihingi ng, ng pera, bigyan mo siguro ng kaunti. Hindi naman yung sinasabing tahinga ng 1,000. Right? You will have treasures in heaven. But you know what? As you give in this world, as you give in this world, you will not know yet what treasures in heaven that you are investing your, your giving to. No? Hindi pa na alam. Yun ang, yun ang challenging. Hindi natin alam yung treasures in heaven. And you know what? Can I tell you something? Treasures on earth versus treasures in heaven. What do you think you know, is more majestic? Right? Of course, the treasures in heaven. But the challenge is you don't see it yet. You don't see it yet. Ang nakikita ng, 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 ng young man dito is yung rate of niya ngayon dito sa mundo. No? Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard for him? Imagine, you are a young guy investing into makapag-invest ka ng malaki. O lumaki yung investment mo kung saan man yan. No? Um, stocks, cryptocurrencies, real estate, NFTs. And lumaki yung pera mo. You have great mansion. You have Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, Land Rovers. Lahat na ng pinakamamahal na nasakyan. No? Diba, may Ferrari ka, may, may Pagani, may, may Bugatti. Siguro sobrang yaman nung gano'n. Great wealth daw eh. No? 
hindi sinabing many wealth, great. Okay? Great mistakes, no? So far. So, ibig sabihin, mas mayaman ko sa mga mayaman. Great, no? So, right na imagine mo, yung pinagyarapan mo is strategically your hard work, your early mornings, your late nights, your, your skills development, your your knowledge, no? Pinagkirapan mo talaga to and then na-build mo yung empire mo ng, I don't know, business or investments. E din nasabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon, iwan mo yan, sama ka sa akin. Nag-isip eh, nag-isip, nag-isip this guy. Nag-isip yung guy na to, no? Pero ang tinawag ng Lord, si Matthew, si Peter, si James, hindi nag-isip. Kung sabi na ng Lord, come follow me. No? So, mo rin siya, hindi lang isip. Pero ito lang isip. Ang dami kong kaya mga, no? Minsan yun yung nagpapastop sa atin. Ay, Lord, no? Our possessions. Our possessions. Our power. Ayaw natin ipagayin. No? Pag ginawag tayo ng Panginoon. So, it says here in verse 23, then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Verse 24, again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Ano siya sabi ng Panginoon dito? Is it about the money na dapat mahirap lang tayo, hindi dapat tayo mayaman? No, in, in this world kasi, in this world, you will see that a lot of people will really work so hard, put in so much hours in their business, in their careers. Para makakuha ng ano. Ba't ka nag-aaral ng mabuti? Para ano? Right? Ba't ka nag-i-invest? Ba't ka nag-i-invest? Ba't ka nag i siya? Para saan? Hindi pa para umunlad yung buhay natin. And that is not bad. Right? Why did God bless Abraham? Why did God bless Jacob so much. Why did God bless David? Why did God bless um, Joseph the dreamer? Ang dami yung pinayaman ng Panginoon eh. Okay, ano sinasabi dito? Ang sinasabi ng Panginoon dito is yung pinagpapalit mo na siya. Yung calling niya sa'yo, yung relasyon mo sa kanya, ay pinagpapalit mo sa ano, ano sa, sa, sa pagiging mayaman sa mundong ito. Kaya nga sabi niyo, the rich in the kingdom may pagkakaiba yun. No? Ano bang gusto mo? Ang tingin sa'yo ng tao, mayaman ka. O ang tingin sa'yo, mayaman ka. No? Ang tao, no, ang tingin sa'yo yan, mayaman ka kapag may malaki kang bahay. Right? Ang ganda ng mga gadgets mo, ang ganda ng suot mo, ang ganda yung kotse mo. Okay? Kumakain ka sa masasara. Tingin yan, mayaman. Impressed sila. No? Pero ang Lord, hindi impressed doon. Saan impress si Lord pag binibigyan mo yung mga taong nangangailangan? Yung mga taong hindi nila kayang tulungan yung sarili na tinutulungan mo sila. Especially when, especially when they don't know God yet and you bring them to the Lord. It doesn't need money. But it does, no? It does need your heart and some of your efforts. Sabi ng Lord, no? Yung kamel, mas madali pang ipahasok sa karayong. No? Nung, ba, nung bata kasi ako, no? how many of you realize and, and also experience this, this, this type of, of task no? from, from your lolos and lola? Pakialam mo nga, pag magtatahi yung lolo ko dati, pakilusot mo nga yung, yung sa karayong yung sinulid kasi naduduling daw siya, nakasalain yung hindi niya magawa-gawa, ilang oras na siya doon. No? Tayong din yung nilalawayan yung yung ano yung yung tali yung sinuri hindi niya malusot-lusot no ako naman kinuha ako ang daling ilusot eh madaling ilusot pero camel my goodness di ba no ha how is it possible din ipapagilin mo muna yung ano tsaka mo isa-isa eh hanggang sa maubuo mo yung camel on the other side of the space. <laughs> no? Sabi ng Lord, mas madali daw yun. It's easier. 
So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng Panginoon dito? Imposible. Right? Yun ang gusto ma-realize, no? Nung, nung Lord sa disciple niya. Mas madali pa ito. Right? What ibig sabihin nito is yung gano'n yung mindset. Yung gusto lang kayamanan niya, kayamanan niya. Selfish, self-righteousness, actually. Nonsense. That is incurable. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon dito, no? Hindi ibig sabihin nito na hindi niya sanabi ng Lord na pag mayaman ka, hindi ka ligtas. Ang sabi ng Lord is pag mas, yun ang pinapahalagahan mo. Yung kinalimutan mo na lahat, hindi ka na nag, you don't read your Bible, you don't pray, puro na lang, no? Puro ka na lang obsessed sa work, sa career, sa business. No, hindi masama maging obsessed. Dapat obsessed ka talaga dyan. Dapat ginagalayan mo talaga yan. Dapat talaga nag, nag, no? nagta-thrive ka dyan kasi testimony yan. Pero iba yung usapan kapag kinalimut mo lang yan na lang inisip mo. Right? So it says here the rich guy had a religion not relationship with Jesus. That's why we said no, in this topic this is not a church. In religion. No? Church is not a religion. No? If you are someone here na umaaten ka sa Contest Church, thank you for your time. We appreciate that. But if you are trying to find another religion, this is not a channel for you. I'm sorry to tell you. you no, know, You could try to find somewhere else. This is not another religion to join. Yung, 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 yung rich guy dito, nung tines na ng Lord, lahat na pinagagawa niya na pagsunod. That's why it is important eh, that you, you follow No, we follow God's commandments based on what God purposes it to be. To please Him. Not to please other people. No, apparently, this guy, mayaman siya. Pinitlis na parang yung tao. No? Siguro nag-usap si Jesus, may crowd eh. No, siguro nung sinabi ng Lord, ikaw sundin mo, ito, itong Ten Commandments, no, sundin mo, sabi, sabi ng Lord, nasusunod ko na po lahat yan, tapos na. Siguro yung crowd, wow! So they, are, they were astonished and in amazement na parang, ay, kung this guy, ang bait naman ito. Namunta lang ako. Ten commandments, yung sampu na ba-violate ko. Namunta lang itong taong ito, ang bait naman. Napahanga niya yung crowd, yung nakikinay. Si Jesus, hindi. Okay? Religion lang pala. Kaya pala yung ginagawa yung mga bagay ngayon. Para ang tingin sa kanya ng ibang tao, mabait siya. Right? Sa atin, dapat hindi po ganun. Friends, no? The one that we must be pleasing is the Lord only. You know why? You know why? Number one is, kasi madidismaya ka, no? Baka kasi kakapis mo sa ibang tao minsan, di ba? May masasabi pa rin sa iyo. <laughs> kahit sobrang bait mo na may masasabi pa rin sa'yo no para para matanggalan ka ng stress okay you don't please other people number two you please God because He is God He is our God because you love Him di ba kapag ka sa mga may boyfriend or may girlfriend may mga asawa dito or kahit sa magulang mo or sa anak mo di ba gusto mo i-please yung anak mo yung magulang mo yung asawa mo Because you love them. Because you have relationship with them. Right? Bakit mo ikiplace yung ibang tao? Para saan? What for? Para magmukha tayong mabait. Mukha lang tayong mabait, pero lahat naman tayo, nagtakasaya naman talaga. It's, no? It's the Lord Jesus Christ na dapat natin i-please. Dahil siya nakakita ng lahat sa atin, ng Panginoon. Amen? So it says here, no, I want you to note this on your journals. Hopefully, no, many of you are writing down. No? I writing down. So, sabi dito, religion is about benefiting, not contributing. It is receiving, not giving. It is being served and not to serve. Pag religious kasi, no, ang gusto mo lang nilagi, yung benefit ng pagiging mabait mo. Yung benefit na makikita ka ng ibang tao sa ginaambayat ng tao nito. No? 
Pero nung tinanong na ni Lord, anong pwede mo i-contribute sa kingdom of heaven? No? Benta mo yung possession mo, tulungan mo yung maano, yung may hira. Para you will have treasures in heaven. Contributing, ayaw na mga repeaters na contributing. They hate this. No? I, in, in my experience, before I knew the Lord Jesus Christ, before I came to know him, ayoko din mag-contribute talaga eh. My money is my money. My time is my time. Right? I don't want to go there and lie. So, no? Mag-pray lang ako sa kailan ko gusto kasi eh. Buhay ko to. Yung mga ganyan, ayaw mag-contribute. No? Yung gusto. No? Dapat handa na lahat. Ayaw makulong. It is receiving, not giving. Gusto lang yung makareceive ng word of God na encourage siya. Pero giving, wala sa kanya yan. Giving of time for other people to share the gospel. No? Because it is religion. It is being served. Gusto pinagsisilbihan lang siya lagi. Right? Siya lagi yung, no? Maganda naman yun, yung aated po tayo, makakapakinig po tayo. Pero yung maganda yung tayo naman yung nagsuserve, tayo naman yung nagsishare ng word of God sa other people. Tayo lagi yung ini-invite. Sinaserve ka eh. No, invite pag hindi ka invite ka binigyan ng, ng link ng friend mo, you will not attend. Why? Gusto ko ba lagi sinaserve ka? No? Or ikaw naman yung nagsuserve, ikaw naman yung nag-invite, nag-send ng, ng uh, Zoom live and Zoom links and Facebook links natin sa mga tao na maybe they need God in their life at this moment. Marami tao, they are in suicidal thoughts, they are in depression, ang dungkot nila, ang daming problema, lubog sa problema, someone died in their family, may sakit sila, may COVID, pinakamahan, baka matapos na yung buhay niya soon. If, if we are a people that, that doesn't care sa mga ganong tao, this, this church is not a church of God. No? It is empty. Kung tayo is we don't care about other people. What's the sense of being a church? We need to be, no, we need to be helping other people grow their relationship with God, draw them near to the Lord, helping them, you know, pray for them, serve them, right? Kasi kung tayo yung mga taong we don't care, that's not the heart of the Lord. No? Sabi dito, no, you are not rich, you only have possessions. Hindi tayo mayaman sa Panginoon or in the kingdom of heaven. We only have possessions here on earth. May possession na maganda yung camera, maganda yung gadgets, maganda yung homes, maganda yung so, maganda yung masarap yung kinakain, maganda yung sa kanap ba? Hindi yun masama but we only have possessions. Ang sabi nga ng Lord, no, kung mayaman ka sa mundong to, para marami kang kaibigan. Tapos yung mga kaibigan mo, nakalala mo kay Lord. That's the purpose of wealth. The purpose of wealth is one, for you to enjoy it, number two, for you to give it to others. Alam mo bakit pag, pag ano, kailangan na rin mamigay sa iba? Sabi ng Lord, He loves a cheerful gift. Kapag cheerful yung heart man ang gift. Sino mas masaya? Yung binigyan o yung nagbigay? Di ba yung nagbigay? Right? Yung nagbigay masaya. Ang gusto ng Lord, maging masaya ka. Kaya gusto niya mag-serve tayo, magbigay tayo. No? What do you really want? Religion or relationship with God? What is your move? To impress people or to impress God? Sino ba yung, kaya na ko ba rin ang gilas? Right? Sa ibang tao o sa Lord? Amen? We need to rethink. We need to recalibrate our mind in terms of sino ba talaga yung tinitis? Okay? Jesus is not impressed by self-righteous people. He is impressed by those who are willing to follow Him. Hindi siya na, im- no, napansin nyo, hindi siya na impressed doon sa pinalo yung Ten Commandments, di ba dapat ang reaksyon ng Lord, sinafalo mo yung Ten Commandments? 
my goodness, wala na ako ito. Anong dito? Ikaw lang. First time. <laughs> But you know what? Alam ng Lord na hindi totoo yung sinasabi ng, ng rich man. Kasi yung motive pa lang mali na eh. E di mali na lahat. Right? You know what? If your right is right, your mouth will never go wrong or your actions will, will never go wrong. But if our heart is dark, everything, lahat ng motive natin, kung yung motive natin mali, kasi yun yung start eh. Yung motivation mo, yung motive mo, yung dahilan kung ba't mo gagawin. Kung mali yun, it doesn't matter kahit ano pa yung success. Kahit gano'n ka pagaling, kahit gano'n ka pakatalino, kahit gano'n ka pakabait. Kung hindi still yung pinipis natin, walang silbe. Amen? So let's go to, as we close, as we end this Sunday service, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 19 to 20, sinabi na ng Lord, ano, under the passage of the fulfillment of the law, after the, the, the Beatitudes, Jesus said, verse 19, Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of, these, one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. How many of you want to be great? I w- I'm reading the, uh, the book of Kobe Bryant. It says, I mean, Kobe Bryant, no? if you want to find greatness, you need to obsess about it. You know, you need to care about it. Okay? Besides, sabi niya, sabi niya, maraming tao daw when they spread their efforts. Sabi niya, besides, greatness is not for everyone. Kung yun nga, eh, basketball, I mean, that's, that's a great um, achievement here on earth, no basketball. Pero basketball lang yun eh. This is life, eternity. Right? The relationship with Jesus, treasures in heaven, rewards from the Lord. This when, when when Jesus will come back. No? Gusto mong maging great sa kingdom of heaven? Practice and teach. Hindi pwedeng practice lang. Hindi pwedeng kinig tayo. Ipapractice natin. That's good. That's good. Ano yung mo, alam mo yung kalaban ng greatness? Goodness. Ang enemy ng great is good. Paano maging great? I-practice mo. Ish mo sa iba. Ituro mo sa iba. Kaya nga yung mga Bible study leaders natin dito sa sa Conquest Group, no? I admire you that you are no nag over na kayo sa pag sa pag-share ng gospel sa mga groups natin verse 20 for i tell you ito na yung climax ng Lord Jesus Christ no for i tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven if you have ears let them hear this okay sabi ng Lord no kung yung righteousness mo, no? lalampas dun sa righteousness ng Pharisees, and, alam niyo yung Pharisees and teachers of the law during those times. Grabe mag-pray itong, grabe sila mag-pray, ilang oras, mag-fasting, ilang araw. No? Pero para saan? Para sa mga pumapasok sa silba, para makita sila, ang bait naman ng no? Pharisee, ang bait naman ni no ang leader natin ang bait naman ng preacher ang bait naman ni pastor ang bait ng bishop ang bait naman ni, ni father kung ganun yung gusto natin para makita ng ibang tao mabait tayo our righteousness is pharisaical no are you pharisaical right pharisaical lang ba yung righteousness natin gusto lang natin nakita ng ibang tao palagi Imagine niyo no if read no sa mga nang under 90 challenge sa atin dito kapag binabasa mo yung word of god dito di ba nakikita mo ang gusto ng lord pag mananalangin ka in secret pag magfasting ka maggel ka magpapogi ka di ba kapag mamimigay ka 
don't let your other hand knows that you are giving. Ang gusto niya secret, secreto. Ang gusto ng mga Pharisees, nating mga nakakamit, nakita ng iba. Mabait tayo, mapagbigay tayo. No? Nonsense. And lastly, before we end, no? we become self-righteous when we start comparing ourselves to others and think that we are holier than them. Kasi self-righteous na yung nangyari dun sa mga no? dun sa young man. No? Basta ako mabait. Nagawa ko dito. Self-righteous. Nagawa ko dito kumahan niya sa Lord. Indirectly, sila hindi. Right? Don't compare yourself to others. Lalo na kapag kayong ibang tao nag, nagkamali sa buhay. No? Mas mabait pa ako. Huwag ganun. No? Compare your righteousness with the holy righteousness of God and you will find yourself no? unrighteous. Okay, let's go to Matthew chapter 19. Balikan natin yung last sa pagtatapos natin, yung last part ng, ng passage. Verse 25. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Lord! Yung yung young man, tinafalo ko yung commandments, hindi masisave. Yung kamay, pwedeng pumasok sa ay ng maiden. Mas madali pa kaysa masave yung rich guy. Who then can be saved? Sabi nung itong disciples, oh, paano na ako, Lord? <laughs> na kami na view na na-realize mo na paano ako. Oh, oh. Nagsinungaling na ako, nagnakawa ako. No? Binasos ko yung magulang ko. Right? Paano yan? Ano sabi ng Lord sa verse 26? Very sweet. No? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. How many of you will say amen to this verse? How is God making this possible? Especially for those who came here for the first time, I want you to listen to this. John 3, 16, I know, I know, I know. Gas-gas na to. I know, kabisado mo na rin to. But can we just read this in an emotional, lovely way? Verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Verse 17, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through Him. How did God make this possible? With man, this is impossible. But with God, this is possible. Jesus is making this possible by one. For God so loved you and me, and He gave His Son, one and only Son. And whoever believes in Him, patahay na iniwala tayo, will not perish. We will have eternal life. Amen and Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, that you made it possible for us. So religious that we are, forgive us, Panginoon, if we are, if we are doing this, this righteous act in front of others. But Lord, minsan mag-testify kami, pero dahil gusto namin nakita ng iba, mabait kami, ang ganda rin ginawa tayo. Lord, forgive us, correct our hearts. Forgive us, Lord God. We ask for your forgiveness. Lord, if there are people here na Panginoon, may personal challenge sa buhay na hindi mabitaw-bitawan, kagaya ng young man, hindi niya mabitawan yung, yung kanyang self-righteousness sa kayong kanyang yakapan, kayamanin sa mundo ng Panginoon. Lord, tulungan niyo kami, Panginoon, na bitawan. Meron kaming galit sa ibang tao, Panginoon. Lord, pinibitawan namin ngayon. Lord, meron kaming kasalanan na nagagawa ng pinibitawan namin ngayon. 
Lord, forgive us. Lord, meron kami addiction to something Lord God forgive us. If there's anyone who is suffering from any addiction here, bitawan mo yan. Ayaw mong bitawan yan in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, ang dami namin tayo sa pag-earn ng money. Alas wala na kami time sa iyo. Lord, patawarin niyo kami. Tulungan niyo kay Panginoon mag-side ng pang- ng pagbabasa, Lord, ka ng, ng word mo, ng prayer. Lord, meron kami mabigat na alamin sa ibang tao. Lord, we put our children. In Jesus' name, we release, Lord, that our genius to them. In Jesus' name. Lord, meron mabigat na karamdaman ang mga nakikinig sa'yo. Kasi so, sino may mabigat na karamdaman in Jesus' name. Let that go. You have prayed about Jesus Christ to your body. Kung meron kang kamag-anak, family member, may sa suffer sa isang sickness, Lord, we declare that sickness will leave that person in Jesus' name by the power of your blood that was shed on the cross. In Jesus' name, we claim the victory of healing. We claim the victory, Lord God, of, of out of poverty mindset, time off. Lord, may gusto lang namin, Lord, mayaman kami sa harap mo, hindi mayaman sa ibang tao. Lord, from today on, we will give. We will give our time to you. We will give time to our loved ones, to other people as well. We will help other people, kahit maliit na amount, Lord God, kahit maliit na oras, pakikinig, pagbibigay. Lord, mula ngayong araw, so we will help other people. We will contribute. We will serve. We will follow you, Lord God. And Lord, Thank you for changing our hearts today. Thank you for making us a new creation. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. And for those who came here for the first time, let me pray for you. Let's pray together. Follow after me. Sundan niyo pa na na to. Heavenly Father, I confess that I have sinned. I don't deserve to be with you in heaven. Please forgive me. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. And help me to live for you from now on. Now I accept Jesus Christ as your as my personal Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. And for those who came here for the first time and they just accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, no, you will not perish. You will have eternal life from this day on, provided with all your heart you accepted Him. Thank you for coming. And by the way, if you wanted to, to support this ministry, these are the avenues, no? That pwede ka magbigay. You have uh, several banks there in Gcash. Thank you for those people who are continually giving in this ministry. And may the Lord bless you and your family, no? And for that, thank you for joining us. See you next week. And before we totally end, you know, of course, let's pray together as we sing our last worship song. Thank you everyone and God bless you.